We created a fake assignment. Now we're going to look at some responses and grade those. If you have a due date and it's passed, it'll show up in red, but there's three or four submitted and all three are ungraded. You could click on this uh, right here. This will take you directly to the grading screen. I'm going to go back and show you the way to do it if that's not there. So you can just click on the assignment. This takes you to the assignment page. And when you hit view all submissions, it'll take you to that page we just saw. So you can grade them here all in one page. So you can start typing in scores, assignment not turned in zero. You probably need to look at the assignment here. You can download it by clicking right here. Uh, whatever you enter, you need to make sure you hit save all quick grading changes or it's gonna disappear. Okay, so now we're gonna look at how to actually grade assignments turned in when you need to look at them. So if you click the grade button, it'll be an individual view. And that's what I'm gonna do. The other option is you could download each individually here but I'm gonna instead grade one entry at a time. Certain file types, uh, PDF submissions and Word document submissions, there's a few other ones, will render right inside here. Now there's a lot of features here you can use. You can change the color here, it defaults to red, but you can go to green if you want to. There's a whole bunch of different options. You can scribble here. You can make lines, boxes, etc. If you make a mistake, you can, where is that? Click the hand, lets you, no, it lets you move it. There we go. There's no delete up here, but if you click this arrow, it'll let you select different things and there's a little trash icon and that's how you're gonna delete things if you don't want them. Now, one of the most common ones is gonna be a comment. You can make a box and you can type comments. Now, I still have the comment tool selected. All right, if you want to delete your comment, you're gonna click on the little arrow. Oh, looks like one let me delete it. There we go. You can make a quick list. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete it though. All right, you can also add regular comments that are not in a particular location, just text comments here. Here's the grade you can type in, let's say 90. You can uh, write grade feedback comments here. And if you selected on the assignment, if you selected feedback files, you could upload a file in this lower right corner. Now, when you're done with all this, uh, you also have the option to download it if you want to download it to make any changes or write on it on your computer and then upload it. But again, if you want to upload a saved version, you need to have selected uh, feedback file. We'll go and look at that in a minute. But I'm going to hit save and show next. And you get to the second submission. You can do all the same stuff. If you want to skip around, you can see right here, and I believe the students with the asterisks are the ungraded. They turned it in but didn't grade. So we'll give 95, 95 here. Uh, I'll just hit save. The default is to notify a student that it was graded. And now if I click user, you'll see that the fake two student was not graded. All right, if I want to turn in file, uh, turn back files, I want to upload something for the student. I'm editing the assignment now, but you want to be careful if you're going to change some of these options after it's already been turned in. But the only thing I'm going to do is go to feedback types. I'm going to add a feedback file and I'm going to save and display. So I'll go right back to the assignment. I'll click right on the grade. So what that did is now I have a feedback file where I can upload, I can drag a file here, or I could download this file, do something to it, edit it, and then post it back up here.